Number 10 Worm Unlimited. Worm Unlimited is your full standalone version of the fantasy sandbox World Worm Online, the MMORPG where the players are in charge. A pioneer in the ideas of player influence, crafting and adventure, it is now one of the most deep and feature-packed sandbox experiences available. Whether you enjoy building your home, conquering kingdoms or hunting dragons, Worm will let you. Number 9 Rising World Rising World is an open-world sandbox game with randomly generated, fully destructible environments. Starting with the most basic of tools, collect resources to survive in the wildness. Evolve your world to create one of the biggest cities of all time or a gigantic castle, or simply let your imagination run riot. If being creative is all too much, just connect with your friends and get them to help. Number 8 Reign of Kings Struggle to survive in a harsh medieval world. Hunt wildlife, mine resources, build structures, and craft weapons and armor in order to protect yourself. You may form a guild, bring war to all opposition, and try to seize the throne and become king. In Reign of Kings we allow you to collect resources and craft a wide variety of items needed to build a vast and powerful kingdom. We were primarily inspired by Rust and Amp. Chivalry in the development of this game. Number 7 7 Days to Die 7 Days to Die has redefined the survival genre, with unrivaled crafting and world-building content. Set in a brutally unforgiving post-apocalyptic world overrun by the undead, Seven Days to Die is an open-world game that is a unique combination of first-person shooter, survival horror, tower defense, and role-playing games. It presents combat, crafting, looting, mining, exploration, and character growth, in a way that has seen a rapturous response from fans worldwide. Play the definitive zombie survival sandbox RPG that came first. Nava's gain awaits. Number 6 Out of Reach. You're a castaway stranded in the middle of nowhere. The storm is gone, the worst certainly not. Look for food and resources, craft gear, make a shelter. These are the basics, you will need much more to stay alive on this cut off the world, yet not desert island. The one who said that a combination of thunderstorms and sea rocks is the worst thing that can happen to sailors, clearly didn't have to survive one. The real deal starts the morning after, and this is the exact time when you, dear player enter the cruel world of out of reach. Number 5 Miscreated Nobody knows what started the final war, it was over too fast, fought with the last of the belligerent nation's nuclear stockpiles, and the ones who pulled the triggers didn't survive. It was the final war because after that there was really nobody left who wanted to fight. We were all too busy surviving. Half a century of wars using nukes, bioweapons, nanoweapons, and even kinetic kill weapons, gave us the empty world, population 100 million and falling fast. Number 4 DayZ. DayZ is a gritty, authentic, open-world survival horror hybrid MMO game, in which players follow a single goal, to survive in the harsh post-apocalyptic landscape as long as they can. Players can experience powerful events and emotions arising from the ever-evolving emergent gameplay. There are no superficial tips, waypoints, built-in tutorials or help given to players. Every decision matters, there are no save games, no extra lives, every mistake can be lethal. Number 3 Arc Survival Evolved As a man or woman stranded naked, freezing and starving on the shores of a mysterious island called Ark, you must hunt, harvest resources, craft items, grow crops, research technologies, and build shelters to withstand the elements. Use your cunning and resources to kill or tame and breed the Leviathan dinosaurs and other primeval creatures roaming the land, and team up with or prey on hundreds of other players to survive, dominate, and escape. Number 2 Hurt World Hurt World is a hardcore multiplayer survival FPS with a focus on deep survival progression that doesn't become trivial once you establish some basic needs. That feeling when you're freezing to death trying to make a fire, or you're defenseless being chased by creatures. These experiences are what make a survival game. When you overcome that challenge and find a level of comfort it's a great feeling, but what do you do next? Number 1 The Forest as the lone survivor of a passenger jet crash, 
you find yourself in a mysterious forest battling to stay alive against a society of cannibalistic mutants. Chop down trees to build a camp, or start a fire to keep warm. Scavenge food to keep yourself from starving. Build a small shelter or a large oceanside fortress. Lay traps and defenses to keep a safe perimeter. Explore and build during the day. Defend your base at night, craft weapons and tools. Bunker down during the evening or bring the fight directly to the enemy. Defend yourself against a clan of genetic mutant enemies that have beliefs, families, morals and that appear almost human. Thanks for watching us to more top 5 and top 10 games be sure to subscribe to our channel.